Hello peeps, Lord Hypersonic here. Today I am presenting you a C++ program to mask the password or you can say to hide the password while typing. You have seen this feature in many websites where you type your password and they hide it with star or any other symbol instead of showing what you are typing. If you want to make the same in C++ then I will show you how to do it. For making this program, we are going to need three variables, two string and one character variable. One string will be used to store what user is typing and second string is used to print the symbols instead of characters entered by the user. Character variable is used to take input from the keyboard. For taking input, we are going to use getch function from conio.h header file. Getch function is used to take input from the user and do not print anything. It just saves the value of character which the user enters. First, declare two strings print and m input. We will use print to print the symbols like star or at the rate to hide the password. And we will use m input to store the real password. After that, declare a character variable input. We will use this to take input from the keyboard character by character. Now, print a message to ask the user to enter the password and call getch function as shown on your screen. After that, start a loop till user press enter. How to know if user is pressing enter or not? According to the sky table, a sky code of enter or return key is 13. So while loop will be declared like shown on your screen, then write the statement below it. Now check if the user is pressing backspace key or not. If pressing backspace, then check the length of any of the two string, whether print or m input. If the length of print is zero, then make both strings equal to empty string. If length of print is not equal to zero, then resize both string to their length minus one and print the value of string print. If the user is not pressing backspace key, then add the symbol you are using to hide the password at the end of the print. I'm using at the rate, so I will add at the rate at the end of print and add the value of input at the end of m input. Now close the if else statement and again ask for the input from the user, same as done before. Print the message to ask the user for the input. Clear the screen. That's it. I have made a function for this task. To get the function and source code, go to the link given in the description. Also, if you have watched this long, then press the like button. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. I am you. <laughs>